forgot to tell you one main thing. When you first download Logic, you're going to be hit with this download shit. And the thing is, most of your instrument presets depend on this. And all your EXS sampler samples and loops and audio files are all coming from this. You, you get nothing. So if you don't download anything, here, let's go ahead and click on it here. I'm going to go Logic and go to Sound Library and open sound don't do this download all available sounds it's just gonna sit there and just take like freaking four hours to download you what you want to do is you want to do it in stages so click on this thing right here this is open sound library and you're gonna get hit with this little box right here the ones i recommend you'd get get alchemy get everything alchemy i i just all the sounds that come with this thing are actually related to all the sounds in your EXS samplers. So just get that. Your essential sounds and instruments get that because most of your stuff relies on that anyways. Besides anything else in here, you can, you know, if you want to do orchestra, guitar, and cinematic, I mean, pretty much everything that's included in this thing is really good. I usually, I just get everything, but I do it in stages. Now, a lot of people, what they fail to do is they fail to go down here to this legacy compatibility thing. The really cool thing about this legacy and compatibility is even though you have reverbs up here, it also installs legacy reverbs in here. It doesn't really say it, but there's some really good reverbs, old style reverbs, some really warm spring reverbs that you can get. And I can't really remember where they are exactly, if it's in the reverb section or if it's in legacy compatibility. But just get this because there's a lot of good stuff in this part right here. Usually, I don't. If you're not a loop person, you don't have to worry about that. But I just get it anyways because a lot of times I'll take the loops, especially the drum loops in the dubstep part, and I'll just cut them up and break them up, and I can make something really cool out of them. So that's why I get the loops. Like I said, everything in here is just good. Even the piano is good. The orchestra is good. You know, you get some nice string sounds. The guitar is good. I mean, just everything in here. Even the drum kits are good. And so what you do is, you know, you click on one, like this one, and then I'll go ahead and I'll hit install. It'll sit there and it's just, I've already installed everything, but it'll sit there and it'll prompt and it'll just kind of like download off on the side. And you can still open up a project and let it download off on the side. And then once it gets done downloading, it'll actually install it. And where it installs is in a section in your folder to here i'll show you here's where it goes it goes into your main hard drive your library application support and logic and this is where it installs everything now look what i have right here i actually have sim links so you can see that they're like little shortcuts and i created sim links to my external drive so that way i don't have to take up the space on my ssd and i'm going to make another video about that but i don't want to explain that right now now, what's cool about this is, I don't know why it just doesn't say, hey, where do you want to set your sample folders? Where do you want to set that? It just, that's the one thing I don't like about Logic. But anyways, needless to say, I can override it with sim links. Give me some. Give me some. Give me some.